Welcome back to Norath. So in the last episode, we started constructing the Ixar capital city of Kabilis here. We are going to be doing some more work on the city later, but for today, I want to actually head north to the coast, to the over there, because, well, there weren't any actual ruins in the last episode, and I want to rectify that. We need to head over there and take a look at the site of a ruinous outpost that we are going to be constructing there. It will currently or formerly be inhabited by the Ixar, but today it is uh, inhabited by a band of trolls and uh, dark elves, I believe. And to get there, we want to leave Kabilis behind and head north. We want to go over here to the Lake of Ill Omen and hang a right. And go over the frontier mountains until we get to the over there. Now, if you remember, this was the region that we passed on the way to get to Cabela's. It had uh, the Grand Canyon of Norath in it. It's roughly in, in this direction over here. And we need to head over there so we can start constructing a new settlement, or rather a ruinous settlement. How I'm going to, how I'm going to do this is we're going to construct it like it was new, and then we're going to ruin it to keep in uh, setting with Kunark in general, because if you remember, I said most of the continent is in ruins. And it's going to be done in Egyptian style, like Kabilis, uh, but uh, smaller. And I believe uh, here's the Worseless Woods. And just over this little ridge here, we have the canyon area over here and the plains of the over there. That's what the zone is called. Uh, its, its actual XR name appears to have been lost in the mist of time. We're not really sure what they called it. What if we uh, follow the road here? Here it is. Here is the little peninsula over here where we are going to be constructing the outpost that is called the Over There. And I think we're going to be building walls to start with. Probably what walls there and then around this way we want to kind of wall off the peninsula in some areas but uh, not quite all of them and place a few buildings and then turn the entire thing into a ruinous heap so i am going to begin doing that and the next clip i'll come back and show you what i've done all right the walls of the over there are now in place i will now briefly show you an mc edit montage of what exactly I did to place the walls behind me here.
All right, I hope you found that informative. So let me go around and do some explaining about what you just saw. So firstly, what I did to make these walls, and indeed all the walls in my city, is I will build uh, three main components. I will build a gatehouse, a wall segment, and a tower. And as you can see, what I did was I copied and pasted all three of those in various combinations and collided them together in a regular pattern to make the combination of uh, three wall segments and then a tower and then three wall segments and then another tower and sometimes two wall segments and a tower. And of course we have the, the main gatehouse here as well represented by the pylon. Uh, I did want to enclose the city from the sea because the Ixar are not known for their seafaring abilities. Indeed I believe they have uh, no seafaring abilities. Uh, they do have little small boats uh, but as far as going beyond Kunark with the big navy, they've uh, they've never really done that. They're mostly a land-based empire. In the middle here, we do have a large uh, central enclosed fortress that I'm probably going to roof this over and put a big uh, colonnade down there, and possibly a uh, a roofed structure over here, maybe maybe a pyramidal type structure. I really haven't worked that out yet. That's uh, Something I'm just now thinking about doing. Uh, the next steps in this city, what I am going to do is um, go back into MC Edit and plane off the entire interior of this. We're going to be removing all of this mesa and replacing it with a nice flat granite surface on which I will lay out some roads and probably a, a pool of water and then around that some houses. And we also need to put in some obelisks and some statues on the interior and the exterior as well. And that, in general, for the most part, should round out building the city of, uh, well, it, it, it is now called the Over There, quote-unquote, the Over Over There, because the, the XR city, um, the XR name for this city is, is quite unknown. It is lost into the sands of time. And uh, nobody could probably pronounce it anyway, even if they did know it. So it's uh, now just commonly called the over there. But, as I've said, the next things we need to do in the city is finish it as if it were new. Like, is, uh, like as it was built like a thousand or so years ago. And then it will need to fall into rack and ruin. And I will do that uh, probably also in MC Edit. I will take uh, in a, a brush and start eroding the walls and the, um, the the buildings and everything inside the city so that we will have a grand uh, ruined city which will later come to be inhabited by a contingents of dark elves and trolls. Alright, it's been about a week later and I have done just a, a little bit of building off camera and well, you know, if you've seen this series, you know I do I do all the building off camera because as I showed you with the MC Edit montage I, I did earlier uh, my process is, it's really not, it really doesn't make for good uh, video content. So, but now and then I like to show you bits and pieces of it here and there. So you can see behind the scenes, all I'm really doing in building this city behind me here is to lay down the same copy and pasting of the, uh, the road pattern down there and these obelisks I'm standing on, the statues, which I've done tutorials for and finishing off the building. Of course, all these little houses around here as well. And uh, let's, uh, let's go take a look at those, actually. So the last thing I do in my cities after I have made the roadways and put in the, the principal monuments and everything is I will add in these houses. And I think it, it really caps off the city and makes everything sort of, you know, come to life, as it were. We have uh, houses crammed up um, in pretty much all the available spaces. They're uh, crammed up against the wall and up against the buildings and all the other places in here as well. So let's land and just go inside one of these houses. I haven't put uh, formal doors on them yet, but if we, if we break the wood blocks, we can go inside one of these. And because these are going to be ruined houses, I have not bothered to decorate them, because as I said, they are going to be ruined, so they're just going to be full of sand, and uh, they need to be empty anyway. So they are not decorated. But they do have uh, complete floors in them and room divisions. We got just a little room here, a main room, and how you get up and down in these particular houses, the, the desert style houses, is of course via these ladders here. And up top here, we do have a, 
A couple of smaller rooms. We have a skylight up here as well to let in some sun. Because the XR being reptilian, they do love their, their sunlight. And if we land here, we can see we have uh, we have nice white calcite floors, granite walls, and um, I forgot the name of this again. Uh, deep, deep slate tiles on the walls. Pretty good stuff. Uh, I did originally have these decorated in acacia wood, but uh, to be honest, if these are going to be ancient houses, all of that wood would have uh, rotted away anyway. So I, I elected to make them all stone houses with a nice bedrock and everything, so they would be tough and durable houses. But uh, all of these, uh, by the way, there are, there are 12 different models of houses, which I have made here. And they have been recombined and rotated and uh, placed in various combinations that it's not, it's not obvious that there are only 12 models. Uh, maybe it will be more obvious when we go back to uh, Kabbalists at the end of the episode, because I've also put these houses in there, and that's where we're, we're going to end today. Uh, but if I just uh, land another one of these houses back here on these little back streets, we can go in uh, this one back here. And it, it uh, almost has the same design, but uh, it does have a, uh, a few differences in it, and I suppose uh, that shouldn't be there. Um, but if we go out here, now, if I was going to do this for a fully decorated city, which I'm not going to ruin, I would place uh, a foliage, like trees and whatnot, in these streets. But, since we are going to be doing that, it uh, that, that sort of detail isn't warranted to do in this particular city. And I did find out the name of this city, by the way. It's called uh, Danak. I'm not sure if that's the name the Ixar gave to it, or if that's the name the Dark Elves gave to it. It sounds more like a Dark Elf name to me. But it's supposedly called Danak. So we will, we, we will go with that for the future, because I do like to have names for things. And I think we also need to put in some uh, docks over here by the sea as well at some point. I filled in some sand around here in, uh, in the exterior, and I'm going to um, uh, uh, pile that up a little bit as well to, to make it look like the rest of this. So it uh, all blends in, sort of in situ, as it were. But in order to ruin this city, which I don't think I'm going to have time to get to that today because I haven't really worked out the exact process. But what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to, in, in MC Edit, the same program I, I used that I showed you to make the city, there is an erode brush. And just with like a click, I can remove not like one block, but I can remove, I can remove several blocks. So I'll probably come along in here and just start taking chunks out of these buildings to make it look like they were ruins. Because uh, this city is it's very close to the Dragonlands over there, Skyfire. And this would have been one of the principal, probably first targets that they destroyed whenever they really came after the XR Empire and uh, caused its fall way back in the day. The, the dragons and the, and the XR were always uh, perennially at war with each other. And the dragons eventually did win that battle and toppled the ancient XR Empire. Um... But there there are many hundreds of uh, clicks that need to be done around here with that brush. And I'll probably make the brush of uh, altering shapes and sizes and whatnot. We'll probably snap one of these obelisks in two and drop it down on the floor there. Maybe collapse one of these uh, these little pavilions here. I don't know. I've only got one of these. I may leave that intact a bit. But uh, the walls, they have to have very large chunks taken out of them. And uh, we'll have rubble piles and everything around here as well. But I wanted to show this city to you in its completeness. This is how the city would have appeared. Uh, well, you know, plus some trees that I'm not going to be adding. Uh, back roughly, what, uh, a thousand or possibly two thousand years ago, depending on uh, which version of XR history you subscribe to. I did, I did brush up on the lore of this place to try and figure out more of the details of it so I could, could so I could convey it to you. But as near as I can tell, the the lore for it it's it's rather thin. 
is what I'm trying to say. So we will have to just fill it in ourselves, uh, wh which can be fun. I mean, um, uh, in in the uh, lack of written sources, we can just imagine whatever whatever happened here that we please, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, so this is the ancient Ixar city of Danak in the over there. Sort of a, a very small version of Kabbalus, which uh, we need to return to now. But uh, when, when next we see this place, it's going to be a hopeless pile of ruins. So take a good look now. And uh, that will be uh, maybe, maybe in the next video if I have time to do that. So let's continue and go back to uh, Kabbalus for the end of the episode today. Now, over here we do have uh, the Grand Canyon of Norath, as it were. There's going to be a dungeon down here. It's called, going to be called Carassus. Uh, quote unquote, the Howling Stones. I believe it's called that because the uh, the the souls of the the uh, trapped people that uh, the ancient emperor Venril sat there sacrificed to try and get his own immortality uh, down there in Carassus, uh sealed the souls down in there in the very stones. That's why they call it the Howling Stones. It's a uh, it's a rather sad place when you think about it. But I haven't exactly decided where the entrance. Should be for that, possibly, possibly somewhere along here, or or maybe over there. Um, but there there are going to be a number more ruins down in that canyon that we will be making. Now, over here in the Warsless Woods, we're going to have, uh, I think, perhaps some non-ruined Ixar villages. We do have to have some villages that aren't in ruins, not not full cities, but you know, standard village type uh, buildings just just like the little house buildings we saw except uh, more isolated here in the woods of course uh, the Worsless woods named after an ancient uh, hill giant called uh, Worslisk. and uh, there's also going to be another dungeon over here so I think I'm going to build a pyramid though for that it's going to be the crypt of Dalnir is where that will be located but we want to go back over the frontier mountains because all those houses that I placed and uh, Denak are now in Kabbalus. I have spent uh, I, I quite a bit of time doing that, as you can already see. So, over here, I think this this should make Kabbalus one of the most complete cities in Norath now. Uh, for this one, since this is going to be a non-ruined Ixar city, uh, all the all the foliage you see out here for everything, we are going to be transplanting some of that on the inside. Uh, that's going to take even longer to do than these houses. Uh, but that is going to be a project for the future, so let's just land here and take a look along the streets. Because some people say they, they want to see street views of when I'm walking around the city here, not just flying around, and I can sympathize with that. So we will be doing some of that, especially since it is now complete. So we can go over here to the fountain, and I think uh, I think this is a West West Cabillas. Have some refreshing water there. Uh, go down our avenue of sphinxes here. Well, you know our our XR themed sphinxes. Past our statues. Through the pylon, I still need to add in the uh, the redstone gates. Haven't done that yet. Still a lot that needs to be done. But if we go back into the main area, which uh, we started in today, we can see along the avenue here, we uh, have houses up against uh, the palace wall over there. And a lot more houses along the, uh, the roadway here. Now we'll come back to that in a moment. I think the best place for you to see all of the housework, though, is going to be in East Cabillus over here. So we have our main street here going out to the gate that leads out to the, uh, the Field of Bone. Uh, but over here we can see that we do have now houses planted down on either side. Of course, they use the uh, the same style that uh, Kabbalist itself uses. Uh, same style and materials, except a bit smaller. I am going to be doing a tutorial on not all 12 models of house, but I am going to make, out, out of these, I'm going to make a, a prototypical uh, desert style house, and uh, that is what I will give you for a tutorial. But as you can see, they it, it's a rather simple design of house. I don't think they will be 
uh, any trouble for you to build. I think I'll probably fully decorate that house though to make up for that. And if we go along here, we can see our our plaza here where we had our big fountain and our very large Xar Pharaoh statue there in the distance. But we can see now that uh, uh, all the spaces in between all of the monuments that I laid out in the previous episode, you can see they are now filled uh, just to the rafters with houses. I mean, they're literally houses, so I suppose they do have rafters. Uh, but w with so many of them clustered in, you can probably tell that there are only a limited number of house models. As I've said, there are 12 models. But with them all being filled in like this, it does really give you a sense of scale, I hope, for the city of Kabbalist itself. In fact, let's uh, stand up here. Well, maybe stand up over there. We can get the best view of the city. We can see the entire city from this point up here, which is, of course, a no accident. Uh, but we can see our, our main our main plaza down there. We've got houses over there. We've got our dividing walls. You can kind of st see those still with houses over there filling up East Kabilis off into the distance and over here of course for West Kabilis, a little bit smaller uh, but it is filled with houses as well. Of course the Imperial Palace back here, this, this still needs to be built. That's going to be a much a longer term project. Uh, but I wanted to come back to Kabbalist to sort of round out the episode to show you the progress we are making here in Kunark. Of course, uh, Kabbalist is going to be the, the uh, probably the only city in, in this style that is not a pile of ruins. And I'm afraid it must be that way for the, the lore and everything to, to make sense. Uh, because unfortunately on Kunark, uh, uh, every block you lay down is mortared in with tears. Because XR history itself is a one of, uh, you know, just, just unending tragedy, and they, they've got their high points to be sure. Uh, but it is not called the ruins of, of Kunark uh, without, without good reason. But that's going to be all the time we have for today. I hope today you have gained a little insight about how exactly I build all these things at, at the scale and the speed that I do. I obviously have very powerful tools that allow me to do the job. It's all very modular and done out of repeating patterns and things. Uh, but with MC Edit, as you saw, I can uh, collide things together and make and make new patterns out of the old things. And building the whole of Norath as I am, it would, be, it would be quite impossible to do without it. But next time I will show you some actual ruins, and we're probably going to go to some other spots in Kunark where I'm working on adding in some things. We do have Kern's Tower to add over there behind me here in the Field of Bone. Carnor's Castle, way back over there across the Lake of Illumin in the Dreadlands, and quite a number of other places. And I've said Kunark is going to be extremely, extremely filled with old ruined and ancient cities. And we're going to be over here for quite a while building all of those. So I hope you have enjoyed today's episode, and I want to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.